Long time no see. You're looking well. You remember me, right? My name is Richard. Let that name burn in your mind as you die. Alright, it's time for the main event! Now, hand over that puppet. There's no way you can win! There's no way you can win! Unleash a dragon of the red power. model these days. Down you two. I'll take care of the rest. <gasps> it's pointless to resist. Turn over the 100 series at once! Get down, Ruby 
か Controls aren't responding. How can this be? We've got no choice. Richard, Herman, abort the mission. We're withdrawing. Jeez, man. Save us, you know, you could have shown up a bit sooner. I'm surprised to hear you whine so much. Further enemy pursuit appears unlikely for the time being. I'm heading back. I'll see you around, Ruby Dome. I already told you I'm Guinan Jr. now. Get that through your thick head. It's hard to shake my past image of you. He's an old acquaintance. and confirmed. The red horse carries war, and the black horse, famine. Upon those tiny backs, bear the great calamity. What did you say, Chaos? I didn't read that. It's nothing. Let's go rescue them. my fault. I'm the leader, but then I cut the link. And, and, and now Albedo's... Albedo? He's... a piece of me. Beating in my right chest. I have the search results. Albedo is the name of unit number 667. The records show that he and unit number 666 were conjoined twins. Apparently it happens on rare occasions, even with artificially created children. So he was infected as well, the rider of the white horse. May your bodies and souls find peace, even if it is but a short one. I guess I... I... I owe them my life. So you've known Chaos for a long time, too? Um... <laughs> Can I also call you Rubido, too? It's a very pretty name. Uh, so, sorry, it's just, uh... Oh, I'm sorry. Nah, nah, it's just... I don't have a lot of good memories of that name. 
Oh, you and Ziggy don't like your original names very much, do you? <sighs> names tend to link themselves to memories, both good and bad. I have a feeling that old man over there has a lot of baggage himself. Besides, I think old man over there seems to like being called Ziggy. Oh, I hope he does. Even though it kind of sounds like something you would call your dog. The Zohar Project? Right. The situation is grave. The Gnosis phenomenon is spreading at an ever-increasing rate. More than 120 star systems have already been eradicated, a fact that's been difficult to keep secret thus far. Worst case scenario projections indicate that if this continues, humanity will only have a few years before it's completely wiped out by the Gnosis. Yes, I understand that. Thank you. But tell me how this relates to Cosmos. This way. This is... This is incredible! The Cosmos Tertiary Weapon System. It was developed to prevent the worst case scenario from ever happening. And just what do you classify as worst case? The Zohar Project is a massive undertaking whose ultimate goal is to eradicate the Gnosis from the cosmos. To do this, we know we must salvage the original Zohar that's sleeping on Milsha. Our studies over the past half century have revealed the Zohar to be this dimension's ultimate energy device. But there is also a problem. The Zohar Center, or rather the core unit that controls it, is a double-edged sword. What do you mean? This. This is the phenomenon known as Udu. Beyond the initial loss of the core unit, we have no details on how it occurred. But we do know, however, that this is what made Milchin space the way it is today, and that this phenomenon is also responsible for the appearance of the Gnosis. W wait a minute. Are you saying that even more Gnosis might show up? We can't be certain, but it is a definite possibility. So you're outfitting Cosmos with this. Those shoulder units, they're a phase transfer system, right? Now I see why they called you the Flower of First Division, Chief Uzuki. I didn't come here for jokes. Sorry, I'll continue. This was originally designed for use on the Archetype, but it's been refitted for use on the current Cosmos. The system radius is 130 nanometers. 130? Can you control it accurately at that scale? Yes, with the help of the Tactical Sim Lab. That's why we had Cosmos moved here. And if I refuse to turn her over? This project has been officially commissioned by the government. Being Chief of Software Development doesn't give you the right to refuse us. I imagine not. Look, I know there's a lot about Cosmos' recent activation that worries you. But rest assured, everything's gonna be fine. Headquarters has taken a good look at Cosmos activity records up to now. They firmly believe this can be done. And so do we. Everything is ready to go. I suppose the only thing I can do now is trust you. We can do this. Besides, this system was designed at First Division by none other than Kevin Winnicott himself. <gasps> Fine. We'll transfer Cosmos to the 2nd R&D Division today at 1400 hours. 
I'll send the paperwork along later. Please send requests for any specific needs to my personal address at First Division. I'll have Alan take care of the software. If there's anything you don't understand... We'll contact you. Thank you for your cooperation. For the sake of... humanity? Yes, you might even say that's the reason she was born. Her awakening will lead humanity toward the future. I can hardly wait until that time comes. This transport is part of Cosmos equipment too, right? A craft that can interact with hyperspace on its own without using a UMN column. Is this going to save humanity too? Hmm, in a broader sense, I suppose. It might come in handy for us someday. You'll probably laugh when you hear me say this, but I believe, no. I want to believe that she'll be more than just some wanton instrument of destruction. I hope the future that she builds will be one swept clean of our differences. An ideal world, free of destruction or slaughter. <laughs> Sounds funny, doesn't it? No, no. It's just that... your eyes, Kevin. They were so lit up just now, that you looked like a child. I can't help it. I guess I better watch myself during the public test. Well, to be honest... I can't wait to see her wake up too. Chief! Wait up, Chief! Hey, what's wrong with you? You're acting strange today. Nothing's wrong. It's the same old me. Where are you going, then? Into the city for a bit. It's been a long time, so... A long time? Oh, right, right! Isn't your house, um... Yeah. It's an 8th district. Listen, Alan... Don't take your eyes off Cosmos, okay? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, but why? There is definitely something wrong with her today.
Wow, it really is. Hey, boss. Ah. <laughs> Hi. Well, well, well. If it isn't Xi'an. You sure grown up since the last time I saw you. You were still in high school, right? Yes. Sorry I haven't kept in touch. I guess you moved over here, huh? Yeah, there's no stopping the redevelopment around here. I figured I'd at least try to keep the inside looking the same, though. Right. It wouldn't be Moby Dick's if it was any other way. Well, have a seat. You want the usual? Please. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of hungry, too. You got it. So, are you off today? I wish. No, unfortunately, I'm working. I've got business at the second division. Ah, right. You're with Vector now. Your brother was telling me about that. What? Jin comes here? Sure, all the time. Wait, you haven't seen him yet? You've come this far. You ought to at least try paying him a visit. Not you, too. You know I have a hard time dealing with my brother. Well, speak of the devil. Huh? Wow! Oh, just look at this place. Chaos! It's perfect! It feels just like the Pequot, doesn't it? Xion. Uh. Huh? What are you two doing here? Well, we were starving, so... So, we ended up here. So, you all know each other? Y yeah kinda Kinda? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just a little rattled. Rattled? About what? Xi'an's just got family matters on her mind today, right? <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. My apologies for being late. I'm glad you could make it. Oh, <laughs> Shelly, Mary, look at you. You're all grown up. Long time no see, Helmer. Mary, show some respect. <laughs> it's all right. It makes me feel like I've got a couple of daughters. Tell me, Mary, are you still working on your act? Yeah. Right now, we're kind of busy, but pretty soon, I'm going to be the best comedian in this star cluster. Even if my sister won't be my partner. You know, I've been thinking about recruiting the little master. That sounds great. I think he'd be perfect. Right. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't have good news. There's been some disturbing activity, and not just from the remnants of you, Tick. Yes. Under the circumstances, the peace treaty was our only choice 14 years ago. But it was hardly a unanimous decision. Now, we're starting to see the strain from that within the Federation. According to Captain Roman's report, certain factions have begun showing signs of armed rebellion. The Second Milsian government is on full alert. I'd like all of you at the Foundation to be appropriately cautious as well. After all, with the Zohar emulators and the 100 series prototype in your possession, 
You've become the focus of a great deal of attention. Master Guinan, I've brought Momo. The 100 series prototype. Of course. Send her in. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the 100 series observational unit prototype. Designation, Momo. The preliminary examination of my internal data is now complete. A 100 series realian. You're the enhanced memory model, aren't you? Nice to meet you. She does look more like her than the mass-produced ones do. <clears throat> yes. She's just like Dr. Mizrahi's late daughter. Hmm. The Hand of Fate is a mystery. Thank you, Momo, for overcoming so much in order to come here. Soon you will undergo analysis at the UMN Control Center. We intend to do everything in our power to support the process. Please, just try to relax and fulfill your duty. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your concern. Negredo. I have something I need for you to do. You want reconnaissance, don't you? Sorry. No need to apologize. It is my family's responsibility. sound like you're doing well, unfortunately. And you're glib as ever. What's wrong? Are you lonely, little baby? Oh, I'm just doing a little information gathering. Of course, it still isn't too late for us to come to terms. Oh, so now it's peace talks, huh? Didn't McCartney say that too? Ebony and Ivory live together in perfect harmony. <laughs> But I know your true form, Executioner. I shed that skin long ago. Is that so? You sure you're not just hanging around Rubido because you're waiting for the chance to carry out your mission? I'll be borrowing Rubido soon. I don't need you, though. Still, I look forward to your efforts nonetheless. Wait. No! <laughs> Scary, scary. You've always been two-faced, you know. Offering life in the one hand and delivering death in the other. Too bad I can't die. <laughs> so, he really intends to link with Udu no matter what. Still, what does he want with Rubido? This rocks! <laughs> I get it. So this is where your curry comes from. <laughs> Figured it out, huh? By the way, how's Momo? Is she done already? They told us the main examination will start tomorrow. There don't seem to be any problems. Yeah, so since we had some free time, we thought we'd visit the city. I see. What about you? Did you turn over Cosmos already? 
Yeah. I had Alan take over the process. It might take some time, though, depending on what else crops up. <clears throat> Did something happen over there? You don't look very happy. <sighs> you know how it is. We've been together for a long time, so... Saying goodbye is... Well, you know. Hmm. That tough, huh? Well... Yeah. Think about it. What if you had to give up your precious Kaleidoscope? How would that feel? Oh, that would be tough. My wallet and my heart would both grieve. Told you. Please, do you really have to compare Cosmos to Junior's collection? <laughs> Good afternoon, boss. Hey, welcome back. What a coincidence. Just now, Shen was... You're praying? Your chest? You're playing the drums? Man, I give up. What are you trying to say, Xion? Not so loud. <gasps> Xion? And a voice I've heard somewhere before. Oh, hi. Long time no see. I'm Jin. Jin Uzuki. Pleased to meet you. The pleasure's mine. So, you're both with Xion. Tell me, has my foolish sister been causing you trouble? Foolish? Quite the opposite. You know, we're actually very much in her debt. Truly. You know, you don't have to be nice just because she's here. Jin! It appears I'm not very welcome here, am I? Oh, come on. I didn't say that. I just... Uh, hey boss. I'll have what they're having, please. Extra spicy. Hey, listen to me when I'm talking to you. I am listening. So, what were you saying? Forget it. It's just not worth it. You know, you could have called me. I would have come to meet you. So, how long are you here anyway? I... I, I was busy. The only reason I'm here is because I got a sudden assignment. I have to spend tonight getting ready for the return trip. Huh? Hey, I thought you said... Ow! Uh, <laughs> never mind. It's nothing, really. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hey, Chief. How's it going? Listen, about Cosmos, it looks like the tertiary equipment code's gonna take a little while. Probably about two or three days at least, I'd say. So I guess we could just take it easy for a while, okay? Uh, Chief? Is something wrong? You look kind of upset. <sighs> I'm guessing this isn't a practical joke. What? Nothing. Your timing is so perfect. Thank you. Huh? Wait, Chief! I see. So 
you'll be taking it easy for a while, hmm? Okay, fine. I'll come back home, all right? Will that satisfy you? Oh, right. Would the two of you like to come visit? It's not far from here. Well, what do you think? I don't know. It's a family reunion. We'd probably just be in the way. Wouldn't we? Eh. <laughs> of course, uh, we could also take you up on your offer. Just for a little while. <laughs>